Cisco HX Data Platform is a scale-out architecture maximizing storage efficiency through deduplication and compression. A native distributed file system optimizes data protection through n-way mirroring and component redundancy using a combination of class-leading hardware and software. Always-on operations need to take into account planned and unplanned component removal or failure. Cisco HX Data Platform is uniquely equipped to handle both. Administrative node removal is handled by a command line since it is a rare operation. Node removal from failure is mitigated by redundant data copies and system rebalance. These conditions, along with disk failure or removal, will throw systems alerts that notify the administrator. Cluster expansion can be done by a command line, but is a simple operation to complete using the Cisco HX deployment installer. It is deployed temporarily in your environment and you can access it through any browser. It allows you to review the prerequisites needed for a successful deployment, including a typical UCS networking diagram. You can now choose to configure cluster, import configuration, or expand cluster. Expand cluster applies only to node addition for an existing cluster. Node addition is a simple operation that requires only the information for a node or nodes taking services information from the existing setup. This is all the information needed to add a node to the cluster. There are several key concepts for resiliency in the Cisco HX Data Platform cluster. The first to consider is the replication factor, i.e. the number of instances of data made for protection within the cluster. Next is rebalance, which is the ability to heal from component failure and is the key concept used to scale out with disk or node additions. Next in the resiliency hierarchy is failures, which is the matrix of synchronous and asynchronous events that can be tolerated given the configuration details. This directly relates to tolerance, or what the next triggering failure event is. Finally, the access policy is important in determining how strict or lenient the system is with respect to failures and can be changed dynamically. Cluster self-healing takes place across three domains, node, spinning disk, and SSD. Disk failures or removals trigger a rebalance within one minute. Node failures trigger a rebalance within two hours, while administrative removals are started immediately. These values can be overridden by an administrator on the command line. Cisco Hyperflex Data Platform is perfectly suited to continuous operations and scaling with no interruption to service. This is accomplished through intelligent software that manages any potential issues and ensures always-on operations.